This is the first in a multi-part video series designed to help you learn how to use the RedSpec product sizing software. RedSpec is intended for architects, engineers, building officials, developers, builders, and suppliers. This is the quick start overview. When you reach the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of how to use the RedSpec product sizing software. Subsequent videos in this series will go into greater detail. Before we get into the overview, let's outline the requirements of our sample project. We have a 20 foot span. We have an office condition, so we want an office loading of 50 pounds per square foot live load, 15 pounds per square foot dead load, and 20 pounds per square foot partition load. On one of the ends, we're going to put a hanger, and we want to check for a 16 inch red eye 65 at 16 inches on center. Okay, I've already launched RedSpec and created a file called FIRST. The design process is very simple. We're going to be using this tab system. From left to right will be the process. So let's select our member. Our member is going to be a red eye joist and it's a floor application. Let's select our span next. Span is going to be 20 feet. And we said that we wanted a bottom bearing application on the left. Let's just put it on the wall. And on the right side we want flush, which we have. It's going to be sitting in a beam. Very good. And then down here are our lateral support options for the top cord. It's going to be continuously laterally supported because there's going to be sheathing nailed to the top cord. And the bottom is just going to be um, at the supports. There's not going to be any direct applied ceiling. Okay, let's move on to the loads. We want uh, basic office loading, which is 50, 15, and we're going to pick 20. I think that was our criteria. Alrighty, and you know, you've got a whole bunch of different office presets here, so that's what you can do. So let's change that back to 20. Bunch of different presets in there. So the serviceability, we're going to go to serviceability. This is the deflection up here at the top. So the live load deflection, we're going to tighten that up to L over 600. We'll leave the total load at L over 240. And the sheathing attachment, we're going to say, is a glue and nailed floor. Down here at the bottom, you've got the floor choice performance rating options. We definitely want that to be checked, which it is. And we also want the sheathing. We say it is a three-quarter sheathing, so that's what we want. Floor topping, we don't have any floor topping. We don't have any ceiling directly applied. And the bridging, strapping, or blocking, we have none. You can select a bunch of options there. OK, let's go to the holes. We're not going to cut any holes in this particular demo. And let's go to the design. The design is where you select the product. We've Since we chose a red-eye joist at the beginning, it's going to give us the red-eye joist lineup. And we said we wanted to check a red-eye 65, 16 inches deep, 16 inches on center. Let's design that. Fantastic. So it came up 16 inch red eye 65 at 16 inches on center with glue, glued sheathing. It's also nailed. It also gives you some uh, basic requirements here about web stiffeners, continuous lateral, lateral support, your floor choice rating. Okay, let's look at the hangers. We want to select the right end is where we are because that's where our hanger is. It's going to be a sawn dug fur and we're going to select a, uh, let's just let's pick a 4x8. There we go, short little header. And we want to we want to pick a top flange hanger, so we'll re reduce our list down a little bit. And we'll select an MIT 316. And once we go to the print tab, it will give us a basic shot of our calculation. Shows here the floor choice rating. If you got your got the product right there and all the properties and stresses. So that's your quick start overview.